So I built a super massive nuclear power plant in Satisfactory, but then it broke down, flooding my world with like 100,000 nuclear waste. And long story short, but the only way to fix it was to automate 1,000 batteries per minute, which we did. So that ended up fixing our nuclear waste problem, and now we have a thousand batteries we can play with. And oh boy, do I have a plan for them. But I have a million other problems I have to work on first. So hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where we have plenty to do today. Because we've been dealing with an emergency, a lot of projects have been left to the wayside, like decorating this super massive plastic plant. And you better believe this project's gonna get finished up today. However, I got some hilarious stuff I wanna show you first. So during my Twitch live streams, I was doing some troubleshooting, you can call it, and I found a couple problems. Number one is we don't have sulfuric acid here at our nuclear waste processing plant. And I was like, why? Because we're making plenty sulfuric acid at our nuclear power plant here, so I just didn't understand why it wasn't going to the emergency facility. And then I found this down this way. Oh, past Kibbs just happened to put some valves down. That just completely closed the pipes. So because of this, a lot of our nuclear waste ended up getting stacked up and causing all of our problems we were dealing with in the past. So yeah, that was fun to find. Also with our new battery factory we just built last time, I noticed there's a little bit of a problem where we didn't have enough aluminum in them. For whatever reason, it was stopping. Like it should be 780 per minute or something like that. Like why are there those gaps? Well, it's just because only a third of our aluminum factory was working. And after hours of searching, I found out I just made a little oopsie with the belt work. And I kind of forgot to connect like 780 bauxite to the aluminum build. Yeah, whoopsies, my bad. But good thing for me is I had this giant lizard doggo plush that I could scream into as I cry out in vain at the mistakes of past kibs. And if you're interested in satisfactory merch, check out the first link in the description and go to lizarddoggo.com using the code KIBITS for some free stuff at checkout. Annoying problems aside, I have been really busy at our plastic plant here doing like the preliminary work for the decorations. Like adding in walkable walkways, that was the stupidest thing I've ever said, <laughs> and making things a little bit more interesting inside here. So we have like little platforms to admire and keep track of stuff. And of course stairs everywhere so we can actually look over and run around the factory to make sure everything is working properly, which it usually is. Smile. Oh, and yeah, I added in the hypertube launcher so we can get out of dodge when we have to. So then what's left to do? Well, I want to paint this factory. I want to paint everything. And I want to make it blue. Blue and maybe gray. The, the red default we usually use isn't really working out. And then we have this wall. I want to add in a window here. But I don't want it just to be like, you know, a boring window. Like if we just add in glass, like it works. But there's no like texture to the wall. It's just going to end up looking like super flat. So you have to figure out something different. You know, we could just do something simple and different. What we could do is add on a box to the window. What did I do down here? Why are there these little walls past Kibbs? What are you doing? Ugh, all my design ideas were lost after I found out about the nuclear problem. Just full panic was setting in. But it doesn't matter though, because we're going to go with this anyway. So I look at a lot of uh, architecture from real life or just from other games. And I've seen a lot of designs with this type of style. When they kind of just like slap on this window box onto walls. And it makes it pop a little bit better. And of course, everything has to be concrete because of course it does. Love concrete. Now how's that starting to look? Yeah. Well, it's better than it being flat. It needs something else though. Maybe, hmm, I'm not 100% sure. I feel like this is the right direction. And honestly, I don't really have any other ideas. Like, it's a flat wall. What are we gonna do? And I feel this is a promising direction. And you know what? Sometimes that's all you need. Just to have a decent idea and go for it. And switch it up as you go along. That's what I did here. Uh, the only real change that made this look a lot better, in my opinion, is I added on concrete pillars to the side there. And then it doesn't look as bulky. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Get to see all the stuff inside the factory, a little bit of movement, and I've added in some walkways inside too. So it's really, 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 really cool to walk around. In fact, I'm gonna have this kind of window box design in a lot of my future builds. Just get rid of it. 
Let me just show you up this way. So when we walk through the door, it's like, whoa. It seems so extravagant. I love it. I love it so much. Not super functional because we can't see the machines or what they're doing really, but who cares? Just has such a cool feel to it. While I was doing all the platforming too, just kept adding in more walkways all over the place, trying to finish things up as much as I can. Now I'd say the walkways are kind of done. Like, there's not much more I could do. Only other big thing, I guess, is I added in a nice glass walkway up here, some pillars to have the walkway supported, and then, oh yeah, over this way, I added in a bounce pad. I was like, hey, it would be really cool if we could get up there from down here. And I was gonna build a staircase, and I was like, wait, bounce pads exist. So now we can bounce, so much fun. And the last thing is, I wanna give this place a whole new coat of paint and a racing stripe. So instead of being bright red, like everything else we do, I'm gonna paint it a nice dark gray. There we go. And then add in a blue stripe, like so. Just kinda of going across. I think blue and gray looks really good together. The only thing I don't like is like this texture of the normal walls. I really like how the basic walls look though. So to get rid of the extra texture, do that, do this, and then paint all that, and then fix that. And that's pretty much like the general idea. Probably to go about things as efficiently as possible though. I'm just gonna paint everything dark gray first. Then once it's all done, we'll get rid of the racing stripe area. We'll make this blue the new standard, come on, new standard color. That way when we're building these little walls, they just start automatically blue. And we're very happy and pleased with the world. So all right, let's boop it. Oh yeah, but that's exactly what this factory needed. This looks great. Of course, I didn't want to do the entire place and go too overboard with it. I wanted to see if I enjoyed the look or not. And yeah, no, this is it. Yeah, since we already have the concept, it's not very complicated to add in the details. Just like that box window we dealt with. So let's boop it again. Yeah, oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't been painting more buildings. After doing this one, I, I love it. It just works so well. So the exterior is all nice dark gray and blue because it's blue because we're making plastic here. The extra window we added on the side is great. Painted other things like even the trains. And then I even did a ton of interior and extra detailing. Like at the front here, I added in windows. Who would have ever done that, right? I know. Uh, on top, I added in kind of, I don't even know what you'd call these. Nope, thought about it for five minutes, I have no idea. Added those things in though, just to make the roof not as flat. But then of course, at some point, it's gonna be like that. Also, I don't know how I thought of this, but we're gonna call this the Blue Meyer Plastic Plant. I don't know where the name came from, just that's what it is now. And the interior is what it is now too. Painted all of the walkways to be the cool plastic blue. Upstairs looks incredible actually because now all the machines are painted depending on what they're creating. So we're making all of the rubber here, so all these refineries are all black. Uh, this area over here has all the refineries, kind of the uh, dark purple, because this is heavy oil residue. And then downstairs where we're making the plastic, go figure it's all blue, but man, you, you gotta just see it, really, because it is wild. Oh, dude, I, I think for all future themed factories, we're gonna be painting them their own unique colors. This is just too much fun. Now even more satisfying, we can say that this entire factory is in fact done. Everything's complete. Now we can work on the next project. Decorating the battery setup. Which should only take a moment. There's not too much to do. It's looking pretty awesome. And then we can start using all these batteries. And I can show you guys my master plan. As for this hallway though, there's not too much to do. It's just adding in lights. Definitely have to add in lights. Come on, there we go. Just have those run all the way down. And then as we're running down here, I want to add in metal pillars, just to break up the look of things. We'll have the small metal pillars just, uh, you know, I think we're just gonna align them with machines and have them in between the machines exactly. We'll do a little bit of clipping, but it'll be okay because at the end of the day, it should look really good. It's not like we haven't been clipping a crazy amount of stuff already. But yeah, yeah, this is all it really needs. That looks good. And the rest of the room kind of just needs to make sense. So we'll add in walls where they need to be, some staircases and walkways where they have to go. And it should be all done. Nothing very complicated. 
Ah, oh, the details just make everything look so much better, don't they? Goodness gracious, what a, what a good idea. Yeah, we're all done here. Everything is rocking, everything is rolling. This hallway, immaculate. Run through it, you can see all the belts moving and grooving. You can see all the machines operating. Then over this way, just again, kind of made sense of things, just adding in the walkways so we can see inside the bins when we need to. There's some backup storage in case of uh, um, things happening. And then over here is just, of course, the entrance and all that jazz. So a thousand batteries per minute. Mm, you can do a lot with that. Quite a lot with that. In fact, I've been planning some stuff with those batteries for months now, actually. One of which <laughs> was my master plan with this whole building. It's gonna shock and awe all of you once you realize what I've done and what I've had in store for all these weeks. So this aluminum build has a pretty unique design. It's kind of weird though. All these random boxes and then this one random pillar thing on the side. Like what's up with that? But big reveal time, the entire reason I built this tower was to hold on to all of our major drones that would be delivering batteries to the rest of the world. So in here, I specifically planned out that we could fit, hopefully, six drone ports. And this way, we don't have to rely on the freaking trains anymore to deliver batteries across the world. Plus, when we set up our other major factories across the planet, we won't have to worry about throughput issues with trains taking too long. We'll just have drones going directly there. And the icing on the cake is when we're at our main base just over here, we'll be able to look across our balcony and just see drones spewing out of that tower, flying all over the place. That's gonna look really, really cool. So let's get those batteries in place. Do the deco. Now we're ready to start sending the drones everywhere. So of course, first one. For sure, it's going to be nuclear batteries out. And for sure, we're gonna paint this drone green, 100%. Have to be able to see that that thing is flying around. And now, of course, we need to find a place for it to land. Does this hypertube get us far enough? Maybe, hopefully. Let's go. Oh yeah, that'll be good. Hello, beautiful plastic plant. I love you, you're my favorite now. Oh, can't wait to build more. Then back over this way, we need a new battery drone port. We have the rest of them down there, but you know what? This is literally perfect. Right up here. That'll do. That will do. Three tiles is a perfect width for a drone port, so we can put that right there. Somehow. Excellent. And now we can direct the drone over here. Oh, wait a second though. We're going all the way across the map with this drone. So it's going from A to B. So we're gonna need two drones, really. Uh, let's put you down, give you a little bit of paint. Okay, so let's think here for a second. We're gonna need batteries to go out of this drone port, of course. Uh, I'd prefer there's a bit of extra storage, and then the batteries will go back down to the other drone ports. Backup storage for emergencies will have to be here, because <laughs> if we run out of batteries randomly, we're screwed, and I want lots of backups. And then finally, if we have a drone that's based at this port, this drone port will need the batteries itself. So super quick, let's hook all that up. Good, and then for the batteries to leave here, uh, I'd prefer that they leave down through the floor. Is that gonna connect? It does connect, but it's a little spooky, I might move that. And then, <laughs> how are you gonna belt stuff through the factory? Well, I have no idea. We'll save that for future kids. For now, we gotta start loading the batteries over from point A to point B, so let's head back again. Looking at our glorious plastic plant, and then get this bad boy moving. So this port will go to nuclear batteries in. And one of the cool things about all of this is we have all these walls going up, right? Well, the drones will actually fly up the walls to take off. So once we have like a lot of them going, we'll just see them all going up and coming down all the time. So this will really look like an airport. And plus it keeps the drones a little bit more organized. Oh, and also now there's a friend. Goodbye friend, enjoy your journey. Yeah, with all the drone ports now, I'm just sending batteries all over the place. So of course the nuclear plant and now to our main base, just so we have batteries stored. And you know, for maybe other activities. 
Who knows? As for the other drone, where is it? Come back. What's the transfer rate? Like 700 items per minute. Yup, yeah, that's... <laughs> I think that's fine. So the two drones, they're killing it. Definitely bringing enough batteries over to where they need to go. And where are those drones? What is this? You. Why are you stopped? Come on now, my master plan is practically complete. What could possibly be the holdup? Freaking fog. You! Get scooting! Why are you not unloading the goods? Oh god, for good die! We're fine. Everything's fine. Wait, are you actually? No, you're asleep. Why are you asleep? Stop sleeping. Yeah, battery is here. This port. Go to- what? This is batteries in. It's going to batteries out. Why are you asleep? Oh, maybe because all the battery storage is full. Is it already full? We're moving like a thousand batteries a minute, so probably. Take that. It empties. Are you gonna wake up now? What if we take that? Oh, okay, yeah. So it deserved the nap. It already did its job. Good job, friendo. Uh, let's race you back to base. Well, it's not really a race when I have the power of a hyper tube. Oh my god, sheesh, like 30 minutes later. Welcome home there, bud. Took you long enough. But yeah, with that all moving and grooving, I'd say that's project complete. Ooh, you know what that means. After long last, I can get rid of the blight of our world that caused all of our problems in the past. Our old battery setup. Oh, I hate this thing. Look, it's not even working right now. You know what? And I don't even care. I don't even care. Let's wipe this thing out. No more dumb setup here. <laughs> no more random power outages in the world. Just get it out. Be gone. Now we get to close up the wall and everything looks fantastico. And now with all that wrapped up, we can start on this world's actual mega projects. The space elevator parts. <laughs> But of course, we're gonna have to get to that next time. I hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye bye.